Hello everyone, welcome to Guitar Safari. Hope you're all doing well. Hope you're riffing some rock, shredding some metal, blasting some blues, crushing some country, jamming some jazz, and shredding till you can't play guitar anymore. Anyways, we've got an unboxing here. Let's check it out. This is the SBS guitar. Steve Brown sound in green. And um, it's supposed to be a flame neck, but um, I don't know if you can see it, but there's not a lot of flame on that neck. Maybe it's just me. Yeah, there's some, but it seems like it's more at the top. Uh, first impressions, uh, yeah, it seems cool. A Steve Brown sound guitar. I think it's the 260. Um, yeah, it was just kind of, it was just kind of chucked in the box and, uh, you know, this really should have been put in an envelope or something or just to protect it because, um, you know, Steve probably spent a lot of time signing a couple hundred of these and, well, this one is kind of, it ain't perfect. It's not pretty, you know, it's, it's kind of nice, but it's kind of bent and, uh, you know, you know it's it's a three hundred and seventy nine dollar guitar, which is cool. And it's a great guitar, but you know, just chucking it in the box like that, really, like, come on, just put it in an envelope or something, or wrap it up a bit, because it was all like bent, and you can see part of the autograph is worn off. And you know, I'm a fan of Steve Brown. I've seen Trickster a long time ago, and I think he's a really cool guy, you know, and I support him, and he just seems an awesome, cool dude. And man, he sure can play. And so, yeah, that's kind of a bummer. I'm kind of a little bit upset about that, but hey, what can you do? Um, as far as the guitar goes, uh, I absolutely love it. Like I say, I had to change the, uh, the bar. The bar was all loose, so I'm gonna ask Guitar Fetish for another one. And there is some flame on the neck. Uh, you know, I'll do some B-roll shots of it. It just depends on the light. I really like the neck. Uh, the frets seem good, they're not sharp. There might be uh, one that is a little bit high. It's not a big deal, but like I say, for the money, you can't go wrong. I love the color. I love the sound of the pickups. It's great for metal. Like I say, I'm more of a metal rock player. Um, <laughs> I don't play a lot of clean sound, so don't expect a lot of clean tones from me when I'm doing reviews or on guitar. Sometimes I do, but not really. Uh, I gotta say, I'm impressed, you know, I know there's a few little flaws, not really, just the uh, the trim bar and the fine tuners are a little bit finicky, um, you know, probably because it hasn't been played or the strings haven't been stretched, it might go out a little, it might, whoops, it might go out of tune a little bit. Um, the relicking, it is what it is. Uh, I think it's cool, you know, it doesn't bother me. Um, I love the treble bleed, you know. Um, like I say, if you're looking for clean tones, I'm not really going to be doing many because I just don't believe in playing clean on guitar. But these are great pickups. The tuners are fine. Uh, I love the feel of the neck. It's sort of like a, a medium neck. It's not a super thin neck. Sort of like your Charvel type. Um, that's what this reminds me of. The frets are, they're not big. You know, they're just like medium. But, you know, that's cool. I think it plays great. You know, it probably just needs to be maybe set up a little bit better. Uh, it seems pretty good out of the box though. I I can't remember. I adjusted the wheel a little bit to lower it a bit. I like my action low. Um, up high, it's easy to play. I think it's a great guitar for the money. You can't go wrong, honestly. As far as, you know, quality issues, it was just the bar. Um, like I say, I've got to speak to them. As I said, um, I love the reverse headstock. The nut seems good on it. Uh, I like the way the neck feels and the back of the guitar. It's got that nice cutaway. Um, the block isn't really big on the, the Floyd Rose. It doesn't matter. Like, I'm not going to whinge about, you know, things like that because it's not a super expensive guitar. But for what it is, I think it's absolutely brilliant. I think it sounds incredible. It plays super nice. The neck is super smooth and fast. Um, the weight, it's, it's, it's just fairly light, you know. Um, like I say, it just came in a box. It was packed okay. It could be, you know, because it came from the States, it could have been packed a little bit better. Um, 
you know, I like the push-pull coil tap and the three-way is cool. You know, the hardware seems good. The knot, I like the logo. You know, like I say, I'm a fan of Steve Brown. Uh, what else can I say, guys? This is a really good guitar. Uh, would I buy another one or get another? Would I get another one? Yeah, definitely. Why not? Come on, like for the price, really? The frets are not sharp at all. They feel good. And is it rounded? Yeah, kind of a little bit. I don't know what you can call that. Yeah, you can feel it and see it. But it feels good. I definitely say it's a winner. You know, it's definitely worth checking it out. Yeah, great guitar. Steve Brown, sound, uh, the 260, I think it is. I got the specs down there. What's this other thing? Uh, so I didn't read this. Uh, so this tells you about the Floyd and setting it up. Um, you know, it says unlock the strings and detune all strings all six strings one note stretch the strings yeah definitely I stretch them a little bit the bridge plate should be exactly parallel yeah it looks pretty good to me yeah that's kind of cool SBS guitar well yeah you know you know I just want to say congratulations to Steve Brown for uh Getting these awesome signature guitars. I guess they're signature guitars. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't pay attention to stuff, sorry. But I just thought, you know, I'd get one. I love the reverse headstock. I wanted to get one in purple, but they are sold out. But I, I would definitely get another one. You know, I think it's a great guitar. I mean, Jesus, you know, you're not going to get it for that kind of money. Jesus, man. But I love this color. Reminds me of the green mini Steve Vai or the gem. I, I'm a big fan of the funky colors. And uh, I know they do the offset body. I'm not sure if I'm into that, but it's, it's cool. It's a nice guitar. I'm just more of a Strat style. But yeah, you know, what it is is what it is. And I got to say, I'm, I'm impressed, okay? So I really like this guitar. And it was just the trim bar that was uh, not working, that was kaput. So anyways, I'll be doing some more demos of this guitar. And uh, I haven't changed the strings. I think the strings seem like tens on it. Uh, yeah, very cool guitar. Can't complain at all. It's definitely a winner. I like the back plate. I love everything about it. I like any guitar, but I really like it. So guys, uh, that's my honest review of this guitar. Um, you know, like I say, nobody paid me to do this, <laughs> but I really do love this. I love the color, love the way it feels. Um, you know, so this is the SBS MS 260 Steve Brown sound guitar. And I got to say, awesome guitar. Definitely worth checking one out and taking the chance. Okay, it's awesome. Keep on rocking. And Steve, thanks so much, man, for uh, getting these guitars out there and making a really cool guitar. I love it, man. And keep rocking. Hope to see you soon, brother. Take care. <laughs>